LeBron James on his three-pointer that was taken away after a subsequent review on another play. Check out the video. LeBron, before we got to the shot clock issues, which we understand is a you know, technological thing, the, the length of your reviews, what's your feeling on the balance of you know, trying to get it right versus the entertainment product, the, the players staying in the rhythm that they're in, especially in a tight game? Well, obviously, it messes with the rhythm, but at the end of the day, you want to get it right. Um, so, you know, it's unfortunate what happened. Um, but you want to try to get it right, obviously. And, and our, our crew um, have a, uh, has a job to do, which is the referees they have a job to do, and they have to do it at the, uh, the best they can. So, all good. AD uh, not being there it clearly impacts you guys in a lot of ways, perhaps most of all on defense. So, what's the challenge there, and how did you guys try to account for that after he left in the first quarter? Um, well, I mean, You've been preparing for a couple of days, you know, with our with our prep, and you know you lose, um, you know, a key component to your team in, in one quarter. And, um, you know, we try to pick it up, but obviously, there's some things that we can't do without without AD. There was a game at one point in time where you sat right here. And we were talking to you. We had asked you like, "Can you guys win without AD?" And you were like, "No, I mean, like we need that guy." Um, yeah. How did you try to make up for it tonight? Um, where did you find some success, and where do you feel like you missed? Also, the most? team. Yeah, and where do you think you feel like you missed the most? Um, I mean, I was threat always on the floor, both offensively and defensively. You know, versus a team that has multiple threats. You know, so um, you know, obviously, when you lose AD, you know, it, it just hurts the balance of our team. Um, you know, we've been pretty good. Our coaches have a certain rotation and how we work in our rotation. So that now that changes the, uh, a lot of things. So. Um, and it was obviously, you know, Golden State, you tip your hat to them. They played exceptionally well. Obviously, having Steph back changed their dynamic. You can see the difference between when Steph was on the floor and the last couple games when he didn't play. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just tough when you have a, a big component to, to you know, a piece of, to the puzzle when you, and then you, you don't have it. Did you LeBron, see him at halftime? Did, did his eye just look totally closed up? Oh, uh, like yeah. It was starting to close up on the court. Yeah, it was totally closed at halftime. With all the confusion that was going on on the court, what were you telling your teammates to try and maintain their concentration? No, I was just stay loose probably as much as we could. I mean, obviously, you know, it was a lengthy um, pause of the game. And, you know, we had to play a, we had to play a set that was called, they, obviously, they overturned the Draymond Green um, play with him stepping on the, on the line. So we had a set, and whenever the, the game was resumed, we just tried to execute that. And uh, unfortunately, we did. I would turn the ball over. You have, we, no, have you ever gone through anything like that before? Um... I don't know. I can't. Remember. I've played this a long time. This game, so um, it's not in the not in recent history for sure. Momentum's a crazy thing. When they took that three away from you that you hit in the corner, you felt that cost collectively this team some momentum. Oh yeah, it was good momentum. Obviously, um, I've never seen that be called before like that in that in that particular um, time. Um, that was kind of weird, but. Um, yeah, it took some moment away from us. Did you get a chance to actually see the video, like the screenshot of, uh, of your foot? No. Uh, it, uh, it's kind of similar to the Minnesota, this, the back of the heel versus. I mean, did, did that go through your mind at all, the Minnesota um, situation? I didn't believe I stepped on the line, obviously. Um, I knew how much space I had over there. And when I shoot, I shoot on my tippy toe, so um, it's kind of hard for me to have a heel down. Probably after I shoot, I was in the land, but it is what it is. And LeBron, did you get any clarification as to why they reviewed it in the first place? No. Um, I think all twos and threes are reviewable, I believe. I believe. But at the same time, I'm not quite sure because in the third quarter, um, Golden State had a reset of the shot clock. And they scored on that possession, and that wasn't reviewed. So I'm, I'm just not – I don't know. I don't know. LeBron, in the second quarter as a team, you guys were shooting with – just two minutes before half, mm -hmm. over 60%. Yeah. When it changed drastically in the third, do you feel that was because AD was out and there wasn't the movement, or was it something else? No, I mean, the game's going to change. You can't dictate what the second quarter is going to be the third, and the third is going to be the fourth and first, whatever. No, the game changes. It's a very good team over there, obviously. You know, and they made some adjustments probably at halftime, and I think in the third quarter we came out and missed some really good shots and really good looks, and, you know, they played you know better than we did in the third. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.